You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, never here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something you know where the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you with the Let's Play episode of Lust Shards Tate's Path. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Let's -a go. Okay. And as I said before to Marina, I won't have someone so important watch two troublemakers. That would be a waste of time. Important? Us? Thank you, sir. We're trying our best. Aiden does not partake in this conversation. His eyes are fixed on anything and anyone but the headmaster. It's not fair. Hmm? What was that? That wasn't a complaint I just heard, was it? Because we shook hands on this. Isn't that right, Mr. White? Tate's claws sink a bit deeper into my shirt and skin, gaining some courage. I mean it. It's not fair. We, uh, we'll leave you alone. Come on, Aiden. Right. Bye, Travis. Tate. They disappear among the crowd with our eyes trailing, trailing them out of view. Not fair, you say? If any of the people signed failed their auditions, their signature becomes invalid, and you both get detention. Was that not our agreement? Cole is the only one that did participate. He didn't fail. Yeah, he has technical problems. How is that my problem? And how am I to know he's even capable if I can't see him in action? He's going to audition privately later, isn't he? Yes, when his device finishes the, finishes to reset. So then you'll see he's actually really awesome, and his signature is very valuable. He leans in, talking slower and lower. When I see his potential with my own eyes, then, be out, then you'll be out of punishment. Understood? Clearly. So then that means we're free to go? After he auditions in front of the leader today, later today. Huh. Ordered around by two first years. My, how lucky you are to be so captivating. Yes, let's compromise that way. But just like last time, if he ends up failing the auditions altogether and moves shards... He grabs my hand, pulling me closer, leaning in and whispering in my ear. Your punishment alone will be great, and I will not hear you complain while it prevails. Deal. Splendid. Now if you two will be so kind as to follow me... Psst. What did he whisper about? Um, he just said he doesn't think Cole will remain in the shard? Puh, <laughs> sucker. We'll leave him flabbergasted when he finds out. I hope so. I'm not sure if you mentioned this before, but the Headmaster is massive. In any case, that's all I can think about is the base of his tail swings just below my chest and the tip almost touches my ankles. At least I don't have to strain my neck staring at his juicy ass- No! No. Stop it, Travis. It's the wrong person. Wrong time and wrong place to be horny. I'm surprised Scribbles doesn't have any comments about my random lewd thoughts. We follow him through the streets, arriving soon in front of the Academy and walking inside. The empty corridors have a chilly air to them, as well as an echo that carries Mr. Argus's heavy shoe steps. He guides us to a random classroom at the end of the hallway on the first floor. Not sure why here exactly, but I don't want to give him dumb questions at this, at this moment. He locks the door and holds it open for me and Tate. We walk in, inspecting our surroundings. Yep, just a regular boring room. He closes the door behind him and locks it. I hope I don't have to mention this, but I'll do it just in case. Don't even think about teleporting out. Is that clear? Something else? Very. Good. <laughs> in the background. That's funny. He takes a sit at the front desk. Stacks of papers and a cup of coffee are already waiting for him there. He must have been pretty confident he'll spend his time here if he already had someone do this for him. So... I whisper. What do you do in detention around here? I've never been in one. Well, I wasn't in one, but that was public school. It's so, di so it's different. Just sit at a table and sleep or watch the birds outside. And Dallin would usually let me fly around the room at least, but I doubt this. No talking in detention. Case in point. We sit next to each other at a table in the back, keeping our mouths shut. Tate rests his head on my shoulder and starts to purr, then slightly snores seconds after. Is it fair to be that cute? Speaking of fairness, is it fair for a man to be so much more physically and authoritatively stronger than you? If he decided to place his hands around someone's neck and squeeze, not only would he easily take a life, he'd get away with it, too. Yeah, that was a dark thought, Scribbles. Why aren't you commenting? Yep, this is boring. Who would have thunk? The only entertainment I have is watching Tate's whiskers twitch as I lightly blow on his face. I'd laugh if I said the headmaster's scarce and quick glances didn't bother me. He sometimes pretends to write on papers while keeping his pen slightly above the paper. Can't fool me, old man. That's the exact trick I used in middle school to appear busy and not be called on. Minutes pass by, the sound of the clock ticking and the occasional chirp of birds are the only things distracting me from the seemingly busy line in front of the class. 
or the sleeping cat on my shoulder. Did I mention I'm bored? Uh, would it be bad? Would it be a bad idea to start a conversation with Argus? First name basis already. Wow, why don't you suck his dick right now at this rate? Is what Scribbles might have said if B were here. But since there's nobody to stop me from doing it, I'll ask a question. What's the worst that can happen? What should I talk about? Can we just fucking leave already, please? I love that. Uh, I raise my hand and the headmaster an eyebrow. I keep my voice low to not wake up the sleeping devil on my shoulder. Uh, Mr. Argus? What is it? It's past lunchtime. We didn't get to eat. Did you see me eating before or after getting you here? Uh, no, except you could probably go weeks without food, you big sexy bitch. What was that? I said no, sir. If you're so confident your friend will pass his auditions before your detention ends, then surely you don't mind waiting. It's just you wait till you have to shove those words right up here. Mr. White! Oops. Please, if you're going to say something, say it so I can hear it, or don't say it, period. Your inaudible mumbling does not does nothing but annoy me. Noted. Phew! This guy might have actually heard me. Joke's on him, I'll just insult him in my mind. I'm um, stupid, I stupid, bad, bad headmaster. <sighs> Why are insults so hard to come up with when you're actually trying? He resumes his work this time, with a frown on him, without glancing at me as much before. Let's see. I raise my hand to the headmaster and eyebrow. I keep my voice low to not wake up the sleeping devil on my shoulder. <sighs> Mr. Argus? What is it? What are you working on? Why the sudden interest? Well, I noticed your, you hover your pen sometimes instead of writing. I was wondering if that was part of your work or is it just a quirky little thing you like to do? His eyes widen for a moment before returning to normal. Good observation skills. I'm just... I don't like to complete this particular paperwork, so I fool myself that I'm doing it. Taxes, adult stuff, you kids wouldn't understand. I'm 19. Right. Eh, excuse me, sometimes I forget even first years are old enough to start a family. What was your job before being a headmaster? That's a surprisingly personal question, which I'd rather keep for myself if you don't mind. I don't think so. Excuse me? Come on, it's just a job. Were you homeless? He looks shocked and left speechless. Or a politician? Even more shocked. Why, I never! I was a teacher in another institution. Ah, that explains it. Explains what exactly? Actually, never mind, I don't want to know. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go do some preparation for your upcoming special punishment. He tries to contain his grinning. Ah, that was going to be my next question. What was this special punishment you mentioned before? Oh boy. The weather. I raise my hand to the headmaster and eyebrow. Keep my voice low to not wake up the sleeping devil on my shoulder. Uh, Mr. Argus? What is it? Um, what do you think about this weather we're having? Lovely, isn't it? Are you trying to make conversation out of the blue? Is that wrong? Well, we spent almost half an hour in silence until now. I don't know why we can't continue that way. Am I that unpleasant to talk to? That is not what I said. I simply prefer more meaningful topics instead of small talk. What do you think about the geopolitical economy of sports in the current season? Please be quiet. Too sophisticated? Or like too juvenile and attempted a weak joke. You can do better. Better, you say? <laughs> Raise my hand to the headmaster and eyebrow. I keep my voice low to not wake up the sleeping devil on my shoulder. Mr. Argus? What is it? I'm bored. He raises his head, giving me a puzzled glare. This is detention. So? Does that mean it's supposed to be boring? Yes. Oh. Well, I've never been in detention, except for that one time in sixth grade, but I don't remember much from that day. So I see. Would you like to play a game? Travis, girl, I know you're not stupid. I would very much prefer you to be quiet. Silence. Got it. Traits? <laughs> he gets up from his desk, exasperated, and approaches me with a pen and paper. Here, seeing how you want to act like a child and do what a child does and draw something. Oh, look at him with squinted eyes as I take the cap off the pen. Joke's on you, I would love to. I'm not a very artistic person, so I spend the next couple of minutes completely covering the paper in black ink, and a single spot of white paper remaining in my path. The problem is that the sound of a ballpoint pen on a singular piece of paper is a bit louder than a particular line could take. Damn you. He rushes over, taking back my half-felt piece of paper and pen and shoving them in his pocket. 
If you wanted my art so bad, you could have asked nicely. Oh my god. Alright, what's this? Can we just fucking leave already, please? I raise my hand at the headmaster and eyebrow. I keep my voice low to not wake up the sleeping devil on my shoulder. Mr. Argus? What is it? Can we just fucking leave already? Excuse me? We are literally doing nothing. We are wasting so much time just because you refuse to give up. Why can't we just walk out and get out of your fur? Because this is a lesson for the both of you. What am I supposed to learn from this? That people in power will always bully the weak? That in this world you can't always do what you please. Well, not always, but this time certainly since we did everything, even went above and beyond and managed the impossible just to be stuck here by a technicality. We don't know whether the button, whether that boy will pass his auditions or not. Do you really think a recommended student would fail their auditions? That's enough. I have a good reason to, for every decision I make. Every thought I have is planned out. I know what's best for you. I bet you don't know why Tate even tries to fight your judgment in the first place. You're betting on a losing battle. I feel like ice what feels like an eternity. Just what does he know? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. Flirt? Oh, God. Why the hell not? I'm bored. I'm horny. Did I mention I'm bored? This man might be evil in Tate's eyes and less than ideal in mine, but one thing nobody can deny is he's hot as hell. Big, strong, imposing, and the opposite of the beloved cat beside me. It's most fun dancing with the devil when an angel is sleeping on your shoulder. Even if this might not take me anywhere, it's still, it'll still be fun. I try my best to mimic the infamous fuck-me eyes I'm so fond of, waiting for the moment the headmaster tries to steal a glance. Soon, he takes notice. I raise my hand to the headmaster, an eyebrow. Mr. Argus? Yes, Mr. White. Do you go to the gym often, or is it all natural? Starting off vanilla, since I've decided I want, to be the, I want this to be a somewhat serious attempt. Although he seems to understand the question, he is not as surprised by it as, as I thought he'd be. He lays the pen down gently and places his hands on the table, fingers intertwined with a sly, curious expression on his face. Are you comfortable asking that in front of him? Look at the cat's gentle breathing and relaxed face, a thin strip of drool on the side of his mouth. He sleeps like a rock. Trust me. In truth, Tate might as well be completely awake and listening, but the thrill, it out, the thrill is now too enticing to back down on. What started as a horny joke now sends exact, exciting shivers through my body, and those predatory, piercing eyes directed at me do not help the situation. I have my own gym. A sound mind, a sound mind, and a sound body is my philosophy. I can see that. May I spite you sometime? I'm trying to get some, and I was trying to get some, and you seem like the perfect candidate. Get some gains. Accumulate some gains. I see. Is that your attempted flirting, Travis? How do you like it? It's very cute and conventional. Well, I thought I'd start off subtle before asking about your cock size. I do prefer direct people and logic. Judging by your body, it might be safe to answer with too big. Are you questioning my writing abilities? No, I don't doubt you can fit me, but I have my own history of breaking some overconfident ass. Holding back is not exactly my style. In that case, maybe a less fragile entrance would be more inviting. Open my mouth, fully licking my lips and fangs before sticking my tongue out, keeping eye contact. He chuckles and gets up from his chair, making his way over to me, tail swinging like a, like a wild predator is ready to pounce. Oh, oh shit, nope. Nope. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. <laughs> no, it's not where I want to be. Okay. Do uh, his work. Okay. Get through that, and then we'll be like, uh, yes. And foo. And okay. All right. I'm going to pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank you all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate the support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate Tier. Anyway, if you all want to get your names in the credits, get access to not safe for work content as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye